I want to move to uh, housing for a moment. The Premier uh, used to live in Vancouver. Maybe she still does live in Vancouver. I don't know. Um, but it is increasingly difficult for families to find affordable housing in, in Metro Vancouver and environs. And unless, of course, you were in on the, the Burke Mountain real estate giveaway, it's really tough to find cheap property. And uh, the big challenge, of course, is in, in Metro Vancouver. And uh, the program, or, or the uh, hashtag, I don't have a million dollars, is one that I think may well have come to the attention of the, the Premier. It has not come to the attention of the Minister of Housing. He believes that it's not even appropriate to have, um, to have any way to manage and track uh, what the challenges are for young families in the Lower Mainland. But because Families First is such a high priority for the Premier, I wonder if she's given any thoughts to how she would help manage uh, increased costs for housing in the Lower Mainland, particularly with respect to non-resident uh, owners. Premier. Thank you. Well, it, affordability in the Lower Mainland across the province is a central issue uh, for us in this government, making sure that we uh, recognize it is really difficult to get ahead, particularly in Vancouver, where prices, housing prices are very high compared to places all around the uh, other com comparable cities across Canada and around the globe. So we are, um, we are giving that uh, some uh, very serious thought and putting some hard work into working our way through that. And I'd ask the member to make sure that, uh, that he stays tuned. Minister. Thank uh, you, <coughs> Honourable Speaker. Well, well uh, thank you. That, uh, that clearly is uh, uh, an answer that's not going to provide much comfort to families who are, are seeing themselves looking at mortgages that are absolutely off the charts. So, uh, fortunately, interest rates are low today, but should they uh, see an uptick in the, in the future, we're going to have sig uh, significant challenges for many families who are in housing now and uh, absolute lack of opportunity for those who are not. Uh, I think that the Premier could probably do better if she put her mind to it than stay tuned. When uh, we asked the Minister responsible for housing if he had any plans to track the challenge and monitor that, to have some sort of an inventory so that public policy could be developed in this sector, uh, his, his view was the market will take care of it. And, and I, I well appreciate that that's the Minister's view. He's been hanging on to this file wherever he goes, whether he's dealing with liquor or electricity or LNG. He always tends to hang on to the housing file. But I think over time, ministers start to lose track of just what it is they're supposed to be doing. And when you have the challenges that families have in the Lower Mainland with respect to affordability, stay tuned and the market will take care of it really doesn't cut it. We've had developers, we've had politicians in the Lower Mainland come up with some creative ideas to help address these challenges. And I'm wondering if the Premier could enlighten the committee today rather than staying tuned on what her views are on this matter. Premier. Well, Member um, uh, made reference to our Minister of Housing, and I just want to take a minute to say a word about what an incredible job he's done since he took on this portfolio. It is a really difficult portfolio, and um, you know, housing the homeless, uh, making sure that people who are at risk of homelessness don't become homeless is an incredibly complex issue that cities across North America have really struggled with. But um, Vancouver in particular, but other cities, have made more progress, um, according to experts, than almost anywhere else. And that's really thanks to the work that the Minister of Housing has undertaken. 21,000 new units of affordable housing since 2001. That's a big number. And it's meant that, although we still have uh, big issues to tackle, it's meant that we have been able to support people um, who are homeless and at risk of homelessness. And that is so important in a wealthy society. It's part of being able to share the resources, share the wealth in a society that has a thriving private sector. And of course, one of the reasons we're able to do this, uh, and the housing minister has the budget to do this, is because we've grown the economy, we've made sure that um, revenues to government as a result are growing, not because taxes are higher, but because the economy is bigger. Minister of Housing, though, has not just taken some budget, he's also taken an incredible amount of creativity um, that he, uh, to his role and um, has gone a long way in addressing many of these, um, what many people might have said in the past were insoluble issues. We have a long way to go. Homelessness is not something that's uh, going to go away um, in the next year. 
but it is something that we need to continue to work very hard on. And the work that the housing minister has put in is something that I think um, that most people um, who pay attention to these issues would be more than happy, more than happy to salute. Um, so uh, we are working on this, it, thinking about this issue as certainly affordability in Vancouver is, um, is a major issue, particularly for people who are trying to enter the housing market. So um, again, um, uh, I'll, I'll, ask the member, I'll ask the member to, sit, to stay tuned. Um, the government will make sure that we speak to British Columbians, not just to this legislature, about it after we've, um, after we've finished uh, working through our considerations on the issue. Leave the opposition. Well, thank you, Honourable Speaker. And as the Premier probably knows, British Columbians are represented by 85 people in this place. Uh, all British Columbians are represented, regardless of their political views. And, and great for the shout out to her buddy there about uh, his tireless work here, but it completely misses the point that affordability is driving people away from where they, they, they work or where they want to live, where they, they grew up, to places further afield. And with the congestion challenges and the absence of uh, transit opportunities for many people, that becomes increasingly difficult. I want to talk about uh, an international conference in Singapore hosted by Credit Suisse, and at that conference, the head of the largest private money manager uh, in attendance, uh, Lawrence Fink, who manages 4.7 trillion, there's that number that the Premier seems to think is going to be coming here, in investments, and he told those assembled, those smart investors, that they should put their money into condos in Vancouver, not into the gold market. So that speaks to people looking at flipping properties, not living in homes. And that is the root of the issue. There are those who disagree. Uh, Mr. Uh, the minister responsible clearly disagrees that uh, offshore investors looking to make a quick buck are driving up the cost by uh, constricting the supply. But I think that's a reasonable position. Uh, Bob Rennie, uh, Order of BC, uh, at the recommendation of the Premier, a fundraiser for the Premier, thinks this is a pretty important issue. The Mayor of Vancouver and the Council in Vancouver clearly seized of this challenge. In my discussions with councillors there, they think the number one issue in Vancouver is housing. The, the Premier touched upon uh, the work that the Minister's been doing on affordable housing or social housing for the homeless. But what about those who are looking to get into the market and home ownership in the Lower Mainland? Does the Premier not agree that tracking the problem is the first step to trying to find solutions? The Minister responsible doesn't think so. What about you? Premier. Uh, uh, thank you, Honourable uh, Chair. I just want to finish my comments about uh, homelessness because I think it's relevant. Um, housing for the homeless. Um, has increased by more than 6,200 units, approximately 800 under construction. Emergency shelter beds, close to 1,800 permanent year-round shelters, plus the extreme weather spaces. Aboriginal housing, more than 4,300. Um, and households that are helped is about more than 100,000 all across the province. There are 6,000 fewer homeless in Vancouver or in, than in British Columbia than, than there were five years ago. That is an incredible record and it's something that the Minister of Housing in particular deserves to be applauded for. The member asks, what about um, other, uh, particularly Vancouverites, who are faced by this? Um, and I've given him my answer to that. But I will also say um, affordability in the city of Vancouver is a major issue that we need to address and we need to attack it from a number of different fronts. We do need to be careful as we attack the issue though, that we don't go about reducing the equity that people have in their homes already. We need to make sure that the, that the solutions we find for affordability across the board, particularly in Vancouver, aren't ones that have unintended consequences that end up robbing people of equity that they've built up over the years. And so those, that's uh, one of the uh, central issues facing government, one of the issues that we're working our way through now, um, and making sure you know, we look across the world see what's worked and what hasn't, see what's had unintended consequences and what hasn't, work with folks, particularly in Vancouver, where prices are uh, exceedingly high by, uh, by most international standards, to make sure that it's more affordable for people. Because, um, you know, most people would love to be able to, to buy a place in the place where they grew up. And, um, you know, that, uh, that wasn't true for my parents, um, with their first home, their only home. It wasn't true for me with my first home. 
But I think that's a, an ideal that many people strive toward. And so the affordability issue, making sure that people can find their way into that housing market, especially in Vancouver, is something that we're uh, spending a lot of time thinking about. And we're, uh, as I said to the member, he should stay tuned as we continue to work our way through this issue so that we can support those British Columbians who have trouble finding their way into that market today. It's a beautiful place to live. It's the greatest place to live anywhere in the world. People, understandably, want to come here from all over the world. But um, many people who grew up in Vancouver and have made it their home all their lives would like to be able to stay there. That's a question of affordability, and it's something we are very much seized with.